That hasn't changed in the least. Krillian, what's gotten into you? Kill him, Ramses. Which he spelled wrong. <laughs> Stabbed in the shoulder. And off. Hit. What the hell? Did Kane die? Was that black? Was it a mask? Was it his head? What the hell? What the hell happened there? Are you going to say that he died? So, Kane is dead? Yeah? Yes, yes, Kane is dead. The final fate for one bound with an everlasting flesh. If only he had just accepted our logical ideals, too. A fitting end for someone who had been dominated by needless flesh. Excellent work, Krellian. Now there is nothing that can stand in the way of us accomplishing our objective. The Anima Relics have been awakened and have aligned with their respective Animus. Dan, Joseph, Gad have each been aligned with the Surface Dweller as their Animus. Hugo's Asher, Ramses' Zebulun, Krellian's Judah, Sophia's Dinah, Reuben, Sil Simeon, Levi, and Asakar. We're already aligned 500 years ago. These names ringing a bell for anybody? I know they are for me. And finally, Groff's Naftali. All of the animal relics have now been activated. The identity of the persona mask of the mother has also become clear. The time has come. Now is the time to open the door to God's domain and attain the fleshly body and the wisdom of God. The time of the true awakening carry us to new horizons. Yes, the time of the gospel has come. Now humans, extol the awakening of God. Use the key. It's a very fancy looking key. Turn it. Righty tidy. We're locking it? I thought we were unlocking. That'd be lefty loosey. What the hell? What's going on? I don't see anything. Suddenly, the howling erupted. Even the people who had not mutated were being turned into wells. They howled out like war cries, as if to call out to something. That was because Ramses had been manipulated into assassinating the Emperor. Now, with nothing else holding them back, the Ministry had put into use the Geisha Key, the effect of which was to alter those people who had been destined by God. Those people destined by God, regardless of whether they were surface dwellers or Solarians, began to change shape one after the other. The howling was the people who had filled the earth calling out to God. Once humans have filled the earth, God will awaken from his long sleep, and the awakening of Mahanon, the paradise in the sky, will soon follow. The true meaning of what the ministry had spoken, the true nature of that legend, was at last beginning to be realized. This is what they meant when they said, once humans have filled the earth. Eventually, Mahanon, the resting place of God, woke from its long slumber and began to rise, almost as if responding to the call of the people. It appeared before us in all its majestic glory. That'd be a J, whatever. So everybody's a Wells now. Everybody except, everybody important is still human. But there's lots of Wells. It's coming out of the ocean. it rises slowly. Looks like a... It looks like the spaceship from the opening cutscene. I'm calling that now. Looks like a giant spaceship.
Tá zvetal? Who remembers the opening cutscene enough to, to remember that? But that's what it looks like to me. Definitely looks like a giant spaceship, so I have to assume it's the one from the opening cutscene. With moss. Now with added moss. That's definitely a spaceship. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Eden is in space. Solaris. Gaza. Gazelle Ministries sent a massive force there to obtain God and his wisdom. But by now, neither the nation of Solaris nor the organization known as Gabler existed anymore. The only thing that was left there was an innumerable accumulation of weapons. Almost all of the Solarians had been transfigured into weapons. The Gazelle Ministry now reigned over them as their commanders. There was no way we could allow God or God's wisdom to fall into the hands of the Ministry. We decided to assemble all the forces we could and head toward Mahanon. It was a perilous battle. There was no guarantee that we would make it out back alive. We were to carry out the planet Dawn. Hence, I had to stiffen my resolve concerning her. Wait a minute. You want me to stay here? No, I'm going with you. No. It's too dangerous. Why? I've been in many dangerous situations. This isn't the first time. I said no. We can't take you. Please, understand. No, I want to go. We've been fighting together all this time. And suddenly you're telling me not to go? I just don't get it. This isn't like any other fight. It's a battle for the wisdom created by God. It's life or death. Whoever controls it becomes the true dominator of the world. It's obvious the Ministry will bring the strongest possible troops. There is no guarantee you'll come back alive. That's exactly why I want to go. You don't have the slightest idea. What don't I understand? If the enemy were only the Ministry, or just mechanical weapons, it would be okay. But most of the enemies will be made up of what were once humans. Humans, just like you and I. I saw them at those facilities. Gears that were made out of humans. They were the same as hammer. Could you now destroy them after knowing this? In order to save ourselves, can you truly say that you could kill those who were once our friends? So, do you still want to go now? W well, you can't even kill one person. Your presence would be a burden during the fight. What? You just get in the way. A little harsh. Hey, Faye. Don't you think you went a little too far there? We cannot blame her. At least we, uh, we should understand her feelings. I know how Ellie feels. I knew she wouldn't have listened to me if I had just said you're not coming, seeing as she has worked together with us for such a long time and all. That's why I had to explain it to her like that. The people gathered in Nissan need Ali. She's got to realize how much people are depending on her. I can't put her in a dangerous situation. But the way you said it was a little harsh. You didn't have to be so cold. She was crying, you know. But... I am sure she realizes that. I agree. Maybe you are the one who doesn't understand. Me? I don't understand. A lady's heart. She wants to go. To be with you, Faye. Until the end. Yeah! If I were you, I'd hold her tight and say, Let's go together. Just like that. Really? Um, no. I mean, uh, young master, don't overdo yourself now. Ah, shut up! Anyhow, why don't you go ask her to come with you? Whether she'll go or not, you should express your feelings in words. If you really care about her, you have to go tell her. Express your feelings, right? 
I... I didn't mean... Too late now. Everybody knows it. You are not being true to yourself, are you? I agree. Faye, say it. Straight out. Go ahead. Go chase after her. What are you waiting for? the next part hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of let's play xenogears hope you laughed hope you learned hope to see you next time thanks for watching <laughs>